Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm just going to make a video on the very basics of a computer, desktop computer motherboard. Like what all the slots are along here and how the back of it is that I'll get into it straight away. Here are the input output ports you see at the back of your motherboard, your computer sorry. At the back of your computer you will find something that looks very much like this. If I can just in there, that's where the mouse and keyboard go. This one, right, this is that one to take a mouse and keyboard in that just one slot. Not at the same time obviously. <laughs> but you can put either a mouse or a keyboard in it, I should say, and it's got two USB two slots next to it. Down from that, you've got your DVI slot and your VGA slot, your two video card slots. So if your video card has a cable that is DVI, DVI to DVI-D, then use this one. And VGA, you would use that one, which is quite a simple thing to understand. And down here, it looks like we have two USB free slots. Two USB 2 slots, the RJ45. RJ45 networking card goes in there and you've got you got your sound here that's your audio output to a hi-fi or speakers or something of this some description and that's microphone these are for diff different connectors on a uh, uh, a 7.1 seven, set 5 or 7.1 sur surround system and I know the black one is for a subwoofer but that's not it and that's the digital optical out output yeah this is a gigabyte motherboard gigabyte is a company that make this GA Z77 Z77 is the chipset the chips that on this motherboard is it's only got a south bridge. It's on the bottom here. It's only got a south bridge. They used to. I'm not sure if it's newer mod motherboards or or what, but computers used to have a north bridge and a south bridge. The north bridge would be up here somewhere, or even up there somewhere. But now it's it's all in there. All the chips there. All the how buses work and things serve that nature it is all done and controlled by that as well as in co in combination with this uh, processor which is which is under this heatsink this these unscrew and the heatsink pops off i could show you it with the heatsink off but it might take a while yeah, I might use it. I'll make that make a video, a video of that. That's RAM and I'll show you how the fits in RAM. This is a stick of DDR3 memory. What you do, you get the the RAM. I'm doing this through the camera, so it's awkward. Push, push the white tab out on both sides. Oh, it's difficult to do this like through the camera, but I'm doing it. And at one end, press it down. Right, right, this ends in, and then put that one 
in there. Press one end down so it clicks and press the other end down so it clicks and you should have a solid stick of memory in that slot. Make sure the end bits are closed so the memory can't come out. Job done. This here, this is a 24 pin, 20 plus 4 I should say, pin, uh, which is the main t ATX connector. It's 20 plus 4 because there's 4 pins on the end that are for extra voltage for the power power connector. <coughs> I think the CPU takes some more power from it. And it also takes power from this connector. This is a 12 volt, labeled 12 volt, obviously, connector from the power supply. And here you've got an AMR slot. You put modems and. Oh, sorry, not AMR. AMR. AMR is on older boards. This is a um, PCR Express one time slot. Yeah, uh, one times that be, and that's a PCI Express sixteen times slot, and that's a one, and that's a one PCI Express one again, and that's another PCI Express slot. So if I wanted, I could fit two graphics cards in there, and the, the like these two wires down here are have been around for a very long time in the computers in the computer sector. They're called PCI slots. I think it sounds a peripheral connect interface. Peripheral connect interface. And yeah, I think I've covered that with everything. Mm, not, I'm not 100% sure I have. Oh yeah, that's it. one thing I haven't covered. The seat, there should be a battery in there. It's out at the moment because for non working computers, the, the CMOS battery comes out. This motherboard's dead as a dodo and it's just got our CPU in at the moment. And uh, I think I'm going to leave this video for now. Thanks for watching and please rate, subscribe and comment below. Have a good day. Bye.